Got the Squad. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Elias. If you are new here and like car content, consider subscribing by hitting that button below. So as you can see behind me, we got David's Red Type R. So as you can see from the title, we're going to be taking David's Red Type R and putting it away for the winter. Now I know a lot of you guys are taking your Type R's and driving them every day like I do. But for those that are aren't, I want to show you the proper way to put it away for the winter. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do, of course, is to make sure the car is nice and clean inside and out. And of course, under as well. As you can see, this car is always clean, but David took the extra time and cleaned it again before we put it away today. The next step, of course, is to put in stabilizer, fuel stabilizer in there. Now he already has a towel in there. That's another step you have to take. So take a look at the stabilizer. This is a fuel stabilizer, and if you don't do this, uh, your fuel will get gummed up, your fuel injection system can get messed up, so you definitely don't want that. So you put this in there, you run the car for about 15-20 minutes to make sure everything gets run through. After putting the stabilizer in, of course you have to put in your oil change. Now he's using Amsoil Synthetic Motor Oil 0W20, which is recommended by Honda. He did the oil change right before he put the car away. Now I have to make sure that the oil that's in there is nice and fresh. So next time he starts it up, it'll be all good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the car up. We don't want those tires on the pavement at all. So we're gonna lift the car up and take the wheels off so it's all good to go. I want to point out real quick that this tool makes it very easy to, to loosen the lug nuts manually. Now this is like plastic on the outside, metal on the inside, it protects the wheel from getting scuffed up. Then of course he's got wheel locks, which you know how I feel about that, but it's all good as long as he has it. Let's finish it up. So unfortunately, this low profile jack wasn't doing it as high as it goes. I don't know if it's broken or not. So we had to borrow the jack from the minivan, also called as the fridge, <laughs> and lifting the car up this way. We already got two jack stands up. Putting two more. Having fun there, David? <laughs> <laughs> Putting David to work. Alright, as we can see, the car is on four jack stands. Next, we're going to take off the wheels and tires. Now, the reason you take the wheels and tires off is so you don't leave all that weight on the springs. Now, some people say you don't, need, you don't need to do that. You probably don't, but for peace of mind, I would just take it off. So, the car looks kind of funny now. Looks like it has a lot of negative camper. Look at that. <laughs> the wheel is just loose. All right, we're getting to the final steps here. So we're gonna crack open the windows. There's no pressure built up in there. And we're gonna turn off the electronic e-brake. Uh, you don't wanna leave that on there because if you leave that on, it'll seize the brake, to, the brake pad to the rotor. So you don't want that. So I'm gonna go in there and get it done. All right, the windows are cracked. 
open, the e-brake is off. Everything is basically in the off position. This is the neutral, the car's on jack stands. Time to shut her off. Taking a quick look at these tires. They have 10,000 miles already on them. They don't look like they're that worn out. Looks like they have at least 5,000 miles left on them, depending on how, how he drives, but it looks good. Way better than mine. Mine only has, what, 3,000 miles? But it had three track days on it. <laughs> David never took it to the track. That's why it's still in good condition. Now is also a good time to inspect the brakes. After 10,000 miles, they look okay. A little bit more worn out than mine. What you see there is just a little bit of pad material, not a big deal at all. But it looks good. In the back now, again, same story. Looks good. Does not need a brake pad change anytime soon. Alright, easy enough. So we're gonna put some paper towels or shop towels inside here. I don't want any uh, mice or anything getting in there. So, just to be sure. Stuff that in there. That's it. Nice and easy. Like I said, he's already changed the oil, so that's done. We already checked it, we're all good there. You don't have to disconnect anything. All you have to do is plug in your trickle charger to the battery, and then put some more shop tiles in the back. So let's go ahead and plug in the trickle charger and close up the hood. charging a little bit and you, you, you're gonna check up on this in a couple days and make sure it's make sure it's either green light flashing or just green light this right here see that so it's storage so right in a couple days I don't turn to green and that's it Gonna plug up these holes back here. Again, this is just for any mouse, mice, or rodents that want to find a home. Won't find a home in here. With any luck, anyway. And that's it. That's it. Perfect. Alright guys, thanks for watching as always. We had a lot of fun today with uh, David and his Red Type R. We won't be seeing it again until the spring, unfortunately. That's how it is up here in the Northeast. But hey, it's where we choose to live, right? If you haven't yet, please go ahead and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.